Hello everybody. How is everybody doing today? I am continuing on part three of the wood splitter build. Um, it is coming along nice now. As you can tell in the last video, I got uh, the hookups and everything for the push plate all done. And now I'm working for the racking on, uh, on the side. So what I've done is I've used this old bed rail and uh, I can kind of show you on the other one. This is the system I've came up with and what I'm using is the pivoting mechanism and everything that is already on each piece here. So what I've done here is I've just cut off the sides which is up over here and uh, now I was able to pivot it right on the, the actual leg part of it and uh, I cut the leg off here this is where the wheel would be it would be up here and uh, now all I have to do is line this up and uh, I can make it collapsible by just drilling this out here I put a little bolt in there and uh, that's gonna go on right here on the side like this and that'll add uh, all the racking for when the woods cut and uh, for when I'm setting it up there so it doesn't roll off on me so I've got to build four of these I'll uh, maybe take you through the process of the next one and uh, yeah we'll be back okay I had to stop working on the rails because it started raining and actually it's the next day and uh, so I am now working on the wedge I uh, did finally get the uh, the hoses and stuff and I got them hooked up uh, I haven't tried anything yet but uh, we'll try them together but uh, again it's raining so right now I am working on doing the wedge and this is my wedge and at first glance it's massive and the reason it's so big is that this is a three-quarter inch plate um, and uh, I wanted because of the length of my beam I have the uh, room to have this size of a wedge and I want to be able to have a lot of weld all the way around to make sure that this thing doesn't move. If I would have went with a really skinny one, then I only have that much to weld to. And with the height that this is, which is 10 inches high by 8 inches wide. And what I've started to do is on the bench grinder and with a hand grinder, I am starting to put an edge on it. Um, what I did was I drew a line in at uh, half an inch or three quarters of an inch is what it is and then the same on the other side and then I split the center of this with a line and then I grind down to those lines and that will uh, slowly give me my uh, my edge and let me tell you it's slow going this is hard hard steel so it's uh, not the easiest to grind away but I mean it's got to be done and this was a cheap way for me to make a wedge so um, and the other reason that uh, it is the size it is, is that uh, right away I'm going to put this on like it is. And I'm going to try it out, and if I find that it's not split in the wood, uh, like apart enough, then I can always weld on wings on the side that will allow it to cut into the wood and then slowly start pushing it apart. And then that gives me all this room to put... Uh, to put a big wing on here and uh, haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet we'll see how it performs and if I have to I will so that's where I am right now and uh, I will uh, as soon as it stops raining we'll take some video and I'll show you the ram actually working um, this was a free ram from uh, from somebody that they, they gave me and uh, I've already I think I can tell that the ram that's actually inside the piston isn't the actual one that came with that one originally and I'll explain why later but uh, yeah so stay tuned and we'll uh, we'll check that out shortly okay guys well I'll show you how I have it plumbed up this is only temporary this was just so I could get the length of my uh, the, the stroke on this and this is as far in as this piston goes so I'm guessing somebody at some time changed the piston out of the inside um, there is going to be a control lever here right now I have it ran directly into my tractor and I'm just using the control for the bucket so I'll show you here uh, so right now I've got to keep it at idle because if I idle this up you guys won't hear me at all so 
It goes pretty slow right now. I'll light it all up a bit. And it is quite the stroke on this thing. I'll let it go all the way out for you so you can see it. But uh, obviously, I'm not going to need it to go all the way back every time. So we're getting pretty close to the end of it here. But you can see how long that stroke is. Uh, there it is there. And so there you go. And I drew a line there. So my wedge is going to come here. And then, uh, and then my racking system would be off the back. So you can see that is quite the stroke. Way unnecessary, but it was free. So you use what you got, right? So, um, so the next thing right now I'm going to work on is building a bracket that will clamp over here and hold this thing in place so that it can't ever be twisted or whatever. So uh, I've got to cut a little piece for the bottom. Let me see if you can see here. Uh, let me shut the tractor off. Uh, there you go, you can see her coming back. I know I kind of spoiled it. Usually I wait till the end, but I kind of want to show everybody that it is working now. So I just got to, uh, you know, do a little bit more work and we'll be splitting wood in no time. So, yeah, so what I'm doing is uh, I got to get this all the way back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, now I've got to cut pieces because I want it thick enough and I'm not going to be able to bend it because I don't have a torch. So I'm going to cut a piece here and then up and then over and then down and then bolt them through into here. So that's going to be the next project. Okay, so I've been grinding for a while now and uh, I had to stop again because it's raining again and yeah, it's just been one of those days. So I've almost got the edge done on, on the blade and then I'll use the flap disc and I'll clean that whole thing up and paint it or weld it and then paint it while it's on there. So um, now I do have all this taken apart, all grinded down and cleaned up. Um, that's the new support for the, uh, for the end of the cylinder. So that'll keep it from it ever bucking and bending the rod. Um, because it is a long rod, so I'm putting that extra little bit on there, and I got to drill two bolts. I got new bolts to go through. Uh, these are the bottom plates, and this is the full plate all together here for uh, for the front of the ram out there. So, all right, guys. Well, this will be the end of this part. Um, I just want to keep these videos uploading for you guys, and it takes me a t you know some time to get the money together to buy all the parts for everything. So that's why I'm spacing it out over parts. Um, Please remember to subscribe, and as always, if you click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.